Hello, welcome to Tijuana, Mexico, site of the WBC Second Female World Boxing Convention. I'm James Smith from In This Corner, reporting for the WBC. Women, female boxing champions, some of the greats from all over the world, along with commissioners, trainers, officials, and others, have gathered here basically with one real agenda in mind. How to better, how to improve the sport of female boxing, how to give these female gladiators more platforms, more opportunities to show what they do, and that's box. And the agenda, I would imagine, is to open up more opportunity, more platforms for these female gladiators. Absolutely. We're thrilled to have our second annual convention for the female boxing. The program has begun uh, with a tremendous opening ceremony, very emotional, uh, many champions from all over the world. We're going to have uh, speakers that will uh, show very interesting facts. Uh, they will show the girls what also they can do outside the ring to get uh, boxing involved in society and make some money. We're going to uh, push television companies and boxing promoters in the USA to include female bouts. And uh, most importantly, the medical issues that we will review and will continue to implement for the safety of the fighters. I used to call tons of fights on television, women's boxing. In fact, I did Leila Ali and Christy Martin. That was the last one I did in 2003. And in this country, in, in America, it just seemed to plummet, whereas elsewhere it's been very popular. How do we get the, the promoters, you know, the top ranks, the Golden Boys, the, the Debellas, and all of them to start putting these women on some of the shows? Well, it's, it's a, a, a situation that they have to believe in. Uh, if you look at UFC, their major star is a woman. It was uh, Ronda Rousey. She got knocked out by Holly Holm. Now she's a big star. A former uh, boxer, Holly Holm. A former WBC champion, <laughs> Holly Holm. Uh, Lila Lee was a huge attraction. Uh, Christy Martin, Mia St. John. In Europe, there have been fighters who make 500,000 euros. And uh, Regina Hamley, for example, in, uh, in Mexico, it's a great, great attraction. Eight million people watch every Saturday night uh, women fight. And uh, this is not about men or women. This is about a sport, a dignified sport that uh, they sacrifice, they work very hard, and we're just uh, working to get them opportunities. This has been a struggle women have faced, not only in boxing, but with everything, even with the right to vote. Yeah. So um, these young ladies are are you know sort of pioneers like Layla and pushing this sport forward and advancing the rights of women in the ring and getting equal rights in the ring and that's what's again what's so special about uh, Mauricio Suleiman and the WBC is they are fighting too they have someone behind them who is going to represent them and fight along with them to get those rights and to get you know equal pay equal exposure equal billing so um, you know they have a long road ahead, but hopefully it will uh, be fruitful. Well, I'm used to being with the pound-for-pound pound best fighters on the planet on In This Corner, and now you're considered the best female fighter pound-for-pound. Pound. How does that feel? Yeah, it's a great uh, recognizing. Um, sir, Belgium is not uh, a box country, and to reclaim uh, for, for to have this, uh, how do you say, title, pound-for-pound pound, number one, uh, it's it's nice to be it. <laughs> Delphine, how did you get into this sport? Um, I always started with judo. From 6 to uh, 20 I did judo. But then I have a, a back problem and yeah, you stop it. And you look a new thing in my life because I miss it, the sport. And in my police career, if I was to school for the police, um, there are a little sports uh, and there was also a little boxing and it was directly I say oh, I want to do that but not for competition just for my physique for the training because I like uh, physique hard training. What, what age were you then? 22. Okay. I uh, started with 22 but at six months training I did my first uh, fight but the difference is it's a little bit the same than the judo one against one and the competition rhythm I got it from from my judo career so it was went to be with stress and everything so it was easier to go of to, to do the competition 
You know, I always ask the guys, who are some of the guys that inspired you? Were there any female fighters or male fighters that inspired you, that you watched, that you looked up to uh, before you got into boxing? I have to be sure, just uh, female boxers. Uh, I heard about Leila Ali, everybody can it. Uh, male boxer, yeah, natuurlijk Mohamed Ali, mm -hmm. because uh, the Belgium, uh, Jean-Pierre Koopman box against Mohamed Ali, so in Belgium everybody knows Mohamed Ali, Mike Tyson, the, the big one, eh? Klitschko, Pacquiao, uh, Mayweather, but uh, my, if you say there was a, an idol, it was not from uh, boxing, it was from judo for me. And it, who was that? Uh, Ulla Werbroek. Okay. I, I don't know, for Belgian people, it's, uh, she got Olympic gold, yeah. but for the other men, it's, like, people, it's maybe difficult to, to know her. So, if I was to say to you, describe your style uh, to the old, how would you describe yourself? What type of fighter are you? I think I am an offensive boxer. I, like, most of the times, I want to make the fight, and uh, I'm looking, like, I'm going to my opponent. But I also can box. Uh, defensive. I can the two styles. It's uh, but more for me of my character. It's I like to go for offensive, aggressive boxing. In terms of Belgium, now you were, were you voted the sports person of Belgium? Didn't you get the highest o o award that uh, honor that you could have? Uh, that's correct. In 2015, for the end of the year, or for the year of 2015, I'm chosen to uh, sport woman of the year of, of Belgium. And for the first time, it's somebody of boxing. It's chosen in, in Belgium. A man of woman. It's the first time. And what does the WBC belt mean to you? Um, yeah, as uh, how do you say, it? pro boxer, you don't may participate to the Olympic Games. And yeah, that's a little bit Olympic Games or the highest you can get. But we, allez, we in Belgium and all in other countries see the WBC title as something as an Olympic title because it's the heights that you can allez, can go of can exam in, in the box sport. What are your goals the rest of the way? You're a, a, a great champion already. You're considered the best pound for pound uh, of the ladies. What are your goals the rest of the way, the rest of your career? Oh, so long as you you win, of goes the victories. You want to go farther, eh? And you want to uh, go go to the next fight. So I want to stay number one with the lightweights, sure. Maybe one class higher uh, a time. Um, and yeah, if it's possible, so long as possible, also pound for pound, number one. But uh, you have to see that. Eh? Would you like to come to Vegas and fight at the MGM Grand in front of me live there? Yeah, that should be. Uh, it's yeah. The greatest uh, event that that is from boxing sport, eh? the MGM, the grand, the, the in Las Vegas also the box sport over there with Mayweather is the biggest place I think that you can box. Eh? And in terms of for young young women that are young girls that are watching this, what would you say to them about uh, about the the sport of women's uh, professional boxing? Uh, just a message from you to the uh, young gals out there. I think if you really want to do the boxing sport, um, yeah, it's not all the easy when some people say, oh, boxing is not for women. But if you really want to do it, you, you do what you want and you have to go for it. Uh, but it's the same with me. My parents don't like it, but now they are after me. And if you want to, to participate in the boxing sport, you have to go for it. Well, she's obviously gone for it and made it. Best pound for pound uh, on the planet. Uh, Delphine, great to see you. Thank you. Talk about female boxing worldwide and as it compares to America. Well, the, the boxing world, the, the female boxing is really big in the world and all over the world. Um, I've been in October, I've been in, in Tokyo first and then traveled from there to, to Stockholm, Sweden, uh, and where we had shows on, on, two, uh, on, on two weekends right after each other. So. Um, there are places in the world where female boxing is a lot bigger than male boxing. For instance, in Scandinavia, boxing was prohibited in Sweden, professional boxing was prohibited in Sweden, and we opened the door with female boxing. It was Michaela Lauren, our world champion, who actually got special approvals from the government to fight uh, 10 rounds by two minutes for a world title. And now, male title fights are approved, only now. So, female boxing uh, is, is very big in, in lots of places in the world. In the US, we've had our problems. That's because of the big promoters. They don't like female boxing for, for I don't know, for, for what reasons. And, and um, 
as much as I dislike the fact that uh, they put Wanda Rousey on the Ring magazine, it is, it is a slap in the face of the, of the promoters in the U.S., of the big promoters. And what happened to her in that fight? Well, I mean, <laughs> who beat her? We we box. We we saw exactly what happened, and we saw how it happened. She she just got outboxed. I mean, that that's what happened. Uh, of course, the, the KO was a kick, but but before that, it was jabs, 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 and and so um, no. But uh, what I, I I really want the promoters in the U.S. to to get more involved, and want them to understand that there are hundreds of Wonder Rouseys out there in the U.S. in in boxing. Just, you just have to give them the exposure, you just have to bring them out there. They are there, the talent is there. We are here in Tijuana at the convention, just, just across the border. There's so many great American fighters who made the way over here, and they're waiting, they're waiting to, for, for, the, for the talent to, to be, be uh, exposed. I've got to tell you something. They're a lot more skilled, even than a lot of those women that I mentioned that are pioneers, because the girls start younger now, they come right out there. Obviously, it's an Olympic sport. What has come out of this... Uh, second WBC World Female Convention here. What's come out of this and what, uh, what do you look forward to in the future? Listen, first of all, this has been such a tremendous event, such a great pleasure to see all the people come together from all over the world. We, we had attendance from all five continents, of attendance from 40 countries coming together and just celebrating this beautiful sport. And, and what, I, what, I, what I love about it, we had fighters, for, for instance, our world heavyweight champion, Martha Salazar. She couldn't, she couldn't get a fight in one year, just because in the U.S. it's very, very difficult for her to get on a card and to, to raise money. She, right here, she arrives in, in Tijuana, she pops out of the elevator, and there's a Mexican promoter saying, oh, we want to fight. And boom, two minutes later, they had a world heavyweight championship fight agreed on, and she'll fight again March 18th. So this is why we're doing things like that. We're doing it to bring the, bring the whole community together, to bring the boxing, female boxing world together, and it just clicks, it immediately clicks. And, and, and all these girls, all the fighters, all the promoters and managers, they're so, they're so appreciative, and, and uh, I mean, it has just been a pleasure from day one, and we, we are, uh, we're very happy with the, with the turnout. We're ha very happy that so many people came. We had over 300 attendants, which is great. And what we definitely will do is, we'll do this on a yearly basis, on an annual basis, to give them the chance to work together and we'll only get bigger from here. And we are very sure that 2016 will be a breakthrough year for female boxing all over the world and also in the United States because you, gotta, you will send out the message and everybody's sending out the message, what happened here and, and you'll see it. These, these girls just deserve to be out there, to be shown, to be presented and they deserve to make the same money that men do make. So what a week it's been here in Tijuana, the second annual WBC Boxing Female Convention. A lot on the table this week. Uh, safety, regulation, nutrition, prevention. But the most important thing for these female gladiators is that they get the opportunity, the platform that they need to showcase their wonderful talents. We had some of the greatest female fighters on the planet uh, that gathered here this week. And I, I was lucky enough to be a part of uh, female boxing in the mid-80s and uh, all the way up until Layla Ali and Christy Martin. I called that fight with the late Nick Charles. And for whatever reason, in this kind of America, it just plummeted. So hopefully something like this, having the preeminent belt, the WBC, behind you, will help uh, these women get their place to showcase their wares. Because uh, we saw what happened with Ronda Rousey and Holly Holm. Holly Holm, by the way, a... Uh, a former boxer, uh, I think there's a real place for women in the sport of boxing. There actually always has been. It's time to uh, for us to see it again. I want to thank uh, Mauricio Suleiman, the WBC family, from in this corner, reporting for the WBC from Tijuana, Mexico. I'm James Smith.